everybody and welcome back to another Ross Reviews where today <laughs> we are in a VZRA and this right here people is my all-time favorite HSV ever bloody made and this particular one the owner just what a legend <laughs> Okay, let's compose myself here because this car is literally probably one of the only cars ever I would consider trading my Typhoon in on because the VZ, it just holds a special place in my heart. And this particular one, six speed manual, we got a rip shift, we got the six liter LS2 V8 up front, naturally aspirated. 297 kilowatts, 530 newton meters, people. Rear wheel drive, man, just look at this bloody thing. And the sunroof option, the yellow, oh, this thing is good. Now guys, just quickly, I wanted to let you know that I have started a second channel. It's called Rosh Reviews Extra, and this is gonna be a fun, creative channel that we're not going to be doing reviews on but we're still going to be doing automotive content on and i'm actually currently in japan right now for the next five weeks i'm going to be doing some cool jdm content i actually did buy a little k car if you haven't seen that video go ahead and click the pop-up banner and go subscribe please because i will be continuing with aussie content on that channel when i get back home to australia uh, and it's just gonna be a fun creative way to make new videos make new content so go ahead and subscribe Let's get back into this video. These are just the best looking HSV. They are, I don't care what anyone says. I don't care about your performance. I don't care about nothing because these are eight. You know, you got these epic HSV captain chairs in here, you know, wrapped in leather. It just feels really nice. The wheels, nice in the hands, man. It's just visually so damn eye pleasing with these wheels, with the bags, with the paint color just the aggressive body kit they put on these cars. Oh, and that noise, man, out of that six liter LS2. It is just what dreams are made of, man. Excuse me while I scare some pigeons. <laughs> why are there so many pigeons in Melbourne? <laughs> this is really why I love this VZ so much you know I love my Typhoon and I am so happy I got my Typhoon you know it's nearly 500 rear wheel horsepower and the reason why I really want a VZ HSV is not because of the power you know my Typhoon will literally blow this thing out the water at the drag strip but it don't care about that you know these things you don't care about that performance you care about the emotion, the connection to the car, running your own gears, hearing that V8, and this is what HSV does so well, it, it is. And especially in these older ones, the VZ in particular, this is just Aussie heaven motoring, man. It really is. Now let's just go over some of the mods on this VZ because we do have the six speed manual. It does have a rip shift in it. So the shifts are just like really crisp, super short. It just feels amazing. Anyone with a manual, you gotta get a rip shift. You just do. We do have airbags in the rear, mate. You gotta do that. That's just something so Australian something so suited to these HSVs and man when the bags are dropped this thing looks bloody good and I particularly love the wheel choice I believe these are like VF HSV wheels I could be wrong on that but man they look bloody magnificent much better than a pair of Simmons now this car did get AP racing brakes from factory this does have an X-Force exhaust on her and Mate, that second to third, it sounds bloody good, this car, man. It really does. There's just something so special about a manual V8, you know, rear wheel drive. Freaking hell, you gotta love this thing. 
Now this thing does have three seven dip gears in it, so that is giving us a little bit more performance here. And you know, we got the MCA coilovers up front, bags in the rear. It handles okay. Look, you know, it's definitely no track weapon, this car. It is just a lot of fun. That is what these things were built for. You know, the noise of it, rowing your own gears, and just having a bloody blast. It does it so, so well. And, uh, <laughs> you know, the fact that this particular one as well has got 222,000 kilometers on it, and it looks like this, Credit to the owner because, man, I want my Typhoon looking like this at 222,000, and I am not far away from that number, so I got a bit of work to do. But my goodness. Now, price of one of these things, look, the VZ came out in 2004 and finished off in 2006. Very, you know, this thing was competing right around the Typhoon, so that's why I love to compare these things. And you were gonna pay about 71 grand, bro. So yeah, this thing was quite a bit of money, uh, a lot more than the Typhoon was, that's for sure. Now on the used market though, this thing is claiming some pretty decent money and you're gonna be looking around that 45 grand to like 80 grand. And I have even, you know, seen some crazy numbers getting thrown out there recently, you know, for ones that have been just kept in storage, but you know, that is not what these cars were built for to be locked away. You know, you gotta drive these things and this particular one is just such a good example to say that because look how clean this thing is, how well it drives, and it's got 222,000 kilometers on it. Like, they're out there, people, and you know, they're still gonna be around that, you know, 45, 50 grand mark for a higher K one, but far out, man. This is a serious car and it's a forever car. Someone who buys this thing, I think you're gonna have a hard time telling them to get rid of it. I really do. Ooh, man, it pulls hard. Those diff gears really make a difference. And you know, oh, just six liter LS noise, man. You freaking, you can't beat it. That's the one problem with my Typhoon. I love the turbo noises and the doses and that, you know, that pull is just uncomparable, but there's something about these freaking six liters, man, the noise they create and it's magic. And I, you know, just, <laughs> yeah, man, you know, you don't even need to take it to redline in this car. Just getting up there in that four or 5,000 RPM meet and shifting gears. Oh, this is, this is it, man. Like my garage needs one of these cars and I'm never selling that Typhoon. I don't want to ever sell it, but I need one of these right next to it because yeah, this thing, it's the holy grail for me, for, you know, an Aussie built VZ, like this is it. I, oh, can't, I just can't talk, I can't. God damn, this thing is nice. Now, according to the HSV database, only around like 2000 of these HSV R8s were ever made. And you know, that's not including Senators and, you know, Maloos and stuff, but like just of the club sport, man, there are not many of these things. And you know, look, they are starting to come up on car sale because these things are getting a lot of money now. But I can remember a couple of years ago filming a red VZ. It did have the four speed slush box. It did have a quick shift in it. That was a pretty nice car. And looking on car sales back then, you just hardly could find these things come up. And mate, oh, I can just tell you why. Because whoever owns one of these things, they absolutely love it and they're not going to want to sell it. You know, this, <laughs> this is a dream car right here. It really is. Oh man, you know, it's
it's Jekyll and Hyde between these, like this and the Typhoon. They're so worlds apart, but at the same time, they're just equally amazing. It's so hard to pick one, you know. I've got my Typhoon already. I'm not planning on getting rid of it, but I really want one of these. I really, really want one of these. So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe, and because I gotta afford one of these one day. <laughs> And look, people, if you can avoid the four-speed slush box in these hold-ins, HSVs, just do it. You know, look, you can put rip shifts in there and, you know, swap T400s or whatever, but that's expensive. You're far better off literally just honestly get a six-speed. Pay the extra little bit of money and just do that, please. Please. Now, just pull up on this back road here, guys. We're going to attempt the zero to 100. I did get a draggy loan to me, so I am super grateful for that. Uh, this thing is claimed at 5.2 seconds, so we're going to reset the draggy here, and uh, let's go. Full traction. Oh, that was good. That did feel really good, actually. Traction is, uh, it's difficult because, yeah, with those diff gears, it really kicks on quite rapidly. So, you know, you really got to feather it in first. And even in second, like, I did have to leave traction control on because if it was off, man, this thing would just be leaving lines everywhere. And still, for a reasonably stock motor here, man, this thing hauls. So let's have a look at that time. Zero to 100, which is done in 6.4 seconds. And look, I think the fact that it does have the diff gears in the top of second it's just not hitting 100. So, yeah, unfortunately, uh, I think that's the issue. But, man, it makes it so much more responsive down low. And for 0 to 100 times, who really cares? Because, man, this thing is just so much fun to drive. It, it's just a beautiful machine, this thing. And, look, 6.4 seconds is still a super respectable time, you know. These things came out in 2004, so, man, this thing is awesome. This thing's almost freaking 20 years old. And again, it is just the single best thing about these cars is just cruising them, listening to that V8, and rowing your own gears. It's a feeling you can't replicate in a Typhoon. And, you know, like I was saying before, they are just so alien to each other, but just so equally magnificent. And you got to have both. You just do. Now I'm going to finish the video off here today, guys. So a huge thank you to the owner for allowing me to take out his VZ Club Sport, man. This R8, far out, one of the cleanest ones I've ever seen. And the fact it's got this many kilometers, what a credit to the owner. So I hope you guys really did enjoy having a look at this beast. I absolutely love this car. I want one. I know you guys want one too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here. We'll see you on that next video. <laughs>